Hey guys, just a quick video on how to turn a Canon camera into a webcam. Now Canon just released some beta software a couple weeks ago that lets you do this. And so the camera I'm filming on is the M50 mirrorless and it's supported as to be a webcam um, through this software. So what you do is you plug in just like a USB cable and you, there's a part of the, uh, that you can plug into the camera with the M50, it's a micro USB. With this old Canon T3, it's a mini USB. But uh, both of these work, and this one's not officially supported, but I just installed the software as if it was the M50, and I brought the feed into uh, Open Broadcast Software, and it worked great. So I was really surprised at that. So let me show you kind of the setup I have here. I've got this little tripod. I guess I'll include a link to this too. All this stuff is pretty inexpensive on, on Amazon. So I got this tripod, and then also, so I don't have to have a battery in here, uh, the battery normally is going to be uh, right in here, and you replace the battery. Well, I got this little adapter. I believe that this was Amazon, maybe eBay, and it's just a USB adapter. So it's the shape of the battery right here, and then it has a USB port on the other side, and it's just used for powering up, so I don't have to replace the batteries ever. I could plug this into a wall adapter to power, or I'm actually just using it right on the back of my computer. I plug this into the computer, plug this into the camera, and the camera has infinite battery life as long as it's plugged in. I'm not sure how clean this is, but this is just such an old camera that, you know, it maxes out at like 720p. It can't do higher than 30 frames per second. It's just not a great camera for me anymore. I've had it for seven or eight years, but it does accept the different camera lenses um, for Canon. So I think it'll make an excellent webcam. And then I'm using my Rode microphone right here to my computer setup. So I'm not gonna use the audio for this. This will just be for video, um, just kind of low quality. Um, or high quality, but sort of a lower uh, resolution video for doing uh, web conferencing and maybe for doing some video recording when my face is just in the bottom corner of a video. So I'm gonna show you how, the, how this sets up real quick. I'm just gonna plug the battery in right here and then close this bay. And there's actually a place on the camera, a little spot where this cable can come out. Um, so that it's kind of designed to be able to accommodate this. And then on this only will power the camera. It doesn't send the video feed. So for that, there's another USB uh, port on the side here. You've got HDMI, uh, micro HDMI, and micro USB. Uh, no, mini HDMI, I think, and mini USB. So if you have a, a HDMI capture card, you don't even need to use the software. You can just feed out the, the, the HDMI. I don't know if this even does clean HDMI out, but uh, I'm going to be just using this... Uh, mini USB cable. So this will just plug right in here. And then I have to plug these two USBs into my computer. Actually, one of them has to be into pa a power source, but this one has to be into my computer. I have to have this, the software installed. I'll show you how to grab that real quick. And I can use this as a webcam. Do a search for uh, Canon web, uh, webcam software. I'll include a link in the description of the video as well. And if we just scroll down, uh, it is this one right here. So it's going to say EOS webcam utility. And there's a list of uh, there's the instructions here on how to do it. But if there's a list of cameras that are officially supported, but the one I'm using right now, this camera that I'm using is actually an eight year old camera. It's a Canon T3 Rebel. So it's not even on this list. And what I did, I just used this, I installed the software for my M50 and got it working. And then I just plugged in the USB on my uh, old camera and it worked as well. So one thing you, I'll say is you can only use one Canon camera at a time, but you click on whatever camera is yours or if, if yours isn't on the list, try your luck with whatever you think is closest. And then it's just this right here, this EOS webcam utility. It's in beta right now and it's only available for Windows, but just click select and then it uh, tells information about it and click download. And this will start the download. If you're on Google Chrome, the download will be here in the bottom left-hand corner. If you're on Firefox, it'll be in here in the top right. Uh, it goes to my downloads directory. And then we can just open this up. I can go show in folder and uh, bring this over here. And it's a zipped folder. So we right click and go extract all, and then you can extract it. And then it'll just be this uh, file here. I've already ran it on mine, but you'll just click or double click on this to execute it. It installs a piece of software, and it's not something that you can get to like from your start menu or anything. Uh, it just is running in the background. And then you'll have, as a device, this uh, EOS Webcam Utility Beta will be a device that you can use to capture. 
and it will show you uh, the video. It'll run the camera. So mine's a little bit messed up now because I'm trying to do the screencast and didn't get it formatted. But you can you can bring this into your software if you're doing like a, a meeting online or something. Uh, you can it'll just show it available as a webcam as a camera. Well, thanks for watching, guys. I hope this video has been informative for you. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below, and I look forward to catching you in the next one.